Hello friends, welcome to Technoid channel. Today we will uh, discuss some of the intermediate concept related to form handling using Vue.js framework. You can watch my previous videos where I have uh, explained about the basic of form handling and also create several other tutorials about Vue.js framework. So for the development purpose, I am using Visual Studio Code. And in this right hand side, I am writing HTML and this left hand side is the Vue.js code. I have uh, already did the scap holding. So this is the style sheet which you will see in the John is. This is my Chrome browser. But I have removed the address bar or title just to make it slim and trim. And this is my inspector where we can, uh, you know, see this element tag as well as console. If you do printing, it will be displayed over here. Okay. So I'll continue my journey on uh, no, form handling. So today uh, we will create uh, a combo box and uh, we'll try to populate all this information using some variables. Okay. So let me create a city list, uh, define an array, new work. Melbourne partner okay so there are I have created a uh, array of CD list so let us quickly create our uh, you know combo box I, I created one select option and instead this option I'll use for loop v4 v stand for vue hyphen 4 Okay, now let me do city in city list. Okay, so here I can maybe use it city. Okay, but uh, in curly bracket. Okay, so let's reload this. Okay, New York, Melbourne, Patna. Patna is a city in uh, you know India. Okay. So we have create now my objective is to uh, you know whatever I select assign in some variable so for that let me define a variable over here v model let me try to use name only so this is not a very we could have used any other variable but just for the simplicity let me use it so Melbourne partner New. So it's very simple, right? So I define some values and I have create, you know, uh, a, a model and name. And also we can bind if, for example, for my case is a simple array, if your value is different than one of the display, you can still use V bind, okay, colon value is equal to uh, just I'll use city only because for example let's say this city I'll say high okay so this will so high New York high Melbourne high Patna but if you select only Melbourne will be displayed because in this time this name will only take the values what is available in this particular attribute of value so if I expand this element this is the select will be created okay so here we can see uh, this is the Melbourne let me change it to partner so this is, is changing the partner so this is where my options are okay so Melbourne New York and partner so this is a simple uh, how we can use an array of value and we can uh, use it to populate this uh, variable inside a combo box and we can define some va uh, variable which can uh, which can point to the selected element in the combo box uh, there is some additional you know uh, functionality when we if any we is using the form handler here we have noticed let me use a model So for any input uh, events, 
so the value will get changed so if you type a b c so it will get changed right so if you want to change after some time only to respond only the change instead of all the events so we can use something known as uh, dot lazy so these are the some few shortcuts uh, available or the functionality okay you got it right so whenever we are uh, keep typing this is not changing so Steve okay if you press tab or if you move to somewhere else then only this will be triggered so this is this means this lazy so sometime you may want to use this because otherwise uh, earlier whenever you are typing and this name is changing <coughs> so performance wise this would be better than the earlier one okay but uh, depending upon the use case you can choose but for example here we can explicitly mention some you know we usually have the type as number but when we translate to variable it will come as a string then we have to cast it back so this is going to change name see if you type in a string so this is not assigned into this name variable right uh, the initially reload will come because we have assigned the string but for example let me see here we can increment decrement so if you give any number so this will be you know automatically validated and store the proper number but if you type any you know character it won't uh, take it take uh, cast it okay so let me hello so it is not assigning the value so this is some kind of improvement of validation so we can use this number <clears throat> and also uh, for example in the name we can use some kind of commonly use uh, function of string operation for example trim let me get rid of this uh, numbers let me reload this Steve so it is changing right but if let's say I, if you give a space still it will uh, you know use as a trim otherwise this uh, space will be get printed about here so only the trim thing will be you know getting, getting displayed so trim I just let me check this Okay, if I don't use stream, right, and if I change or reload the space, stream, if I give space, you can see that if I give multiple space, also single space is coming up. Okay, if I use a dot trim, okay, then reload the space, John or something, Mark, if I give space, then also. A VUE will automatically trim it for you or only assign the string so it will just uh, get rid of uh, some additional thing in the left and right okay so that is about the team trim so these are the few intermediate concept whatever you can leverage so you can watch my previous videos about all other step-by-step -step tutorials about VUE's framework hope you enjoy it please uh, like my videos and please click subscribe also spread my link over any tutor or facebook anything it will give me a immense motivation to create more of this kind of videos i can if you have any comment whatever maybe please write in the comment i will reply each and everyone okay thanks again have a wonderful day ahead bye bye